Good morning. It's Wednesday morning. It is 28 degrees below zero outside, 14 degrees in the garage as you can see. Because of no emissions, we're able to walk out into the garage with the garage door closed to a warm car, which was nice. I didn't charge overnight. Around 11, it was still at 50%. Actually, past midnight, it was 50%. But I got up at 5.30 and saw that it was around 48. It was starting to go down and I knew it was gonna get colder, so I did plug it back in. In the garage, I can go up to 40 amps, but had it set for 30, because on a normal night, I would want it to charge a little slower, then it's a little more warm in the morning when you get to it. It's still charging from 5.30 this morning till now, I just bumped it up to 40 amps, so we were getting a little more juice here before I unplugged. Preheated the car again for about 10 or 15 minutes. Yeah, going to be a very cold day today. Well, Joan's reading her books again. We're ready to roll. So we'll pop the garage open and see what it's like out there. Just got to work. It is very cold out, 27 below. 64% battery, I think it was 67 when I unplugged in the garage. It's going to be a very cold day. I think down to 30 below before the wind chill. Wind chill, they say it's going to be 50 below. Car's handling well, and I'm glad I don't have to go to a gas station and stand outside by the pump. It is 1 p.m. You can see that 24 below before the wind chill, down to 60% battery life. So only lost seven from unplugging this morning at home. The blue snowflake is showing that my performance will be limited until the battery warms up. So you can see that on the right hand side, the dashed yellow lines on the top and bottom. So that's just saying, hey, we need to warm up a little bit before we go super fast. It's just after 5 p.m. I've got 38% after running some errands and getting home from work. The car's actually been in the garage for about an hour where it's a little bit warmer. Looks like only negative 16. I think I've got enough charge here to um, make it up to the supercharger in Oakdale. So I figured I would uh, drive from here in Burnsville up to Oakdale. <laughs> made it up to Oakdale with 17% uh, left. Uh, you can see I'm a little limited on my acceleration, but still plenty to go 70, 80 on the highway when I needed to. Down to 15 below zero Fahrenheit. It's 545, so I'm gonna plug into the supercharger here in Oakdale and see how we do. So just started the supercharger. The cord was a little stiff from cold, but plugged in fine. Starting to charge now at 17%. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna run into the high V here and get a snack. So here's the high V across the road is a Cub Foods. And then there's a service station, KFC, Hardee's over there, and uh, Starbucks over there, uh, Burger King over there as well. I believe there's a, oh, there's a Starbucks in the high V here too. It's now 6.01, so about 15 minutes after I plugged in, and I'm up to 39%, even though it's only 15 below outside. Gonna sit here a little while longer just to warm myself up. This is a eight stall supercharger. The Hy-V is well stocked, open 24 hours, clean restrooms, and because it's so cold out today, Starbucks was actually giving away free hot chocolate, so that was fantastic. Nice uh, way to warm the hands up walking back to the car. We'll just uh, charge here for a few more minutes and then head home. There's also an energy consumption meter that shows kind of what your projected range is based on how you're driving and how your battery consumption is. So I usually keep this up if I'm doing a trip. You can see early on the left-hand side that the battery was barely warming up before I took off. And so uh, I was just burning a lot of juice to not do much of anything. Then around this point here, that's when I got on the freeway and started leveling out at a constant speed. The battery warmed up you know some acceleration some slowing down behind people you know just kind of lowered my my average usage rate down quite a bit and you can see as I'm supercharging the projected mileage goes up if I want to look at it you know in different increments I can see that well I know I'm not going to be doing that cold battery driving for a bit so what's my range 
over the last 15 miles. So it says driving that way, I can go about 79 miles. So you can configure it based on how you're going to be driving and get a pretty accurate picture of what your range is gonna be as you're driving. It's now 6.16, so about 30 minutes after I plugged in. Uh, we are charging a little slow, I think because of the temperature, but still up to 61%, plenty of charge to get home. Projected range of 90 miles. Uh, if I needed to stay here and charge to get to the 86%, which I have set as my max, it says it would take another half hour because it will slow down the more juice that gets in the battery. Since we have the cold weather here, I figured we'd just do a little cold weather testing, see how it went, uh, see how the supercharger handled, see how the battery held up, and thanks for watching. I hope you thought this was interesting. Let me know if you have any questions. Just drove the 23 to 24 miles back from the Oakdale supercharger back to Burnsville. Not too far, but it, it is chilly and a little windy out. You can see the information uh, energy chart has come down significantly now that the battery's been warmed up. I think it said I had you know, the mid-90s of range when I left projected. I'm projected to still have 71 miles in this kind of weather and driving style with my 45% battery, so not bad in this cold. That is the story at home. I'm going to plug in tonight and have a full charge in the morning from uh, the comfort of the garage.